certain emails that were proliferating, this kind of scam is given the name Nigeria type scam. It was something that had a pejorative ring to it, which was being echoed by public policy and foreign policy. So I realized that somebody was telling our story. And that somebody did not mean well for my country. I understand that Nigeria had hitherto had a bad image in Canada. But now with this kind of exchange, trying to know who these guys are, now people don't, uh, people will not only think that we are scammers, the image they had hitherto heard of Nigeria would change. We're doing a documentary about Nigeria. We just want to find out what you guys know about Nigeria. Honestly, not a lot. I've heard of Nigeria. I know they got a soccer team. Ah. What part of the world is Nigeria? I don't know. I have no idea. Where do you think it, Nigeria is? I don't know. On the other side of the world? I don't know a lot, but the things I know, they are the big time hustlers. Now, where would you get that information from? On the papers, newspapers. Well, I know it's very poverty stricken, and I know the disease of AIDS is very rampant, and they are starving. Now, did you come about all this information? Well, I watch a lot of news. <laughs> Nigeria gave up so much. We're known as the slave coast. Hundreds of millions of Nigerians have gone out and never returned. We should continue to speak for Africa. It's not a weakness. Even though we lost so much money that could have been used to build our own country. <laughs>